do you do you hear the apps about this yeah. kind of shit? Like hey, duh, guys. Like guys, like guys, we did this whole thing called uh, Assault on Pleasant Hill that was all about this cosmic cube that was owned by Red Skull. Right? It was like literally <laughs> I mean nobody read the comic. They're all just reacting to the idea of mm -hmm. Captain America being Hydra. It's like they can't do that. Why would that be permanent? No, I hope it's not. Nobody wants to read that story. No, it's just an insult to Jewish people. It's Nazi now. Why would he choose to be a Nazi? It's <laughs> and then like a lot of people are like, oh well, they said they said this wasn't brainwashing. They said this was really cap. I'm like it is. It's different. She's a cosmic cube, yo. She like she changes like existence. Like like memory endpoints are different anyway. Yeah, like. Like, he, he's still operating the dictionary. He still operates as Captain America. Yeah. He does not think he's a bad guy. So like, come on, guys. But my favorite part is the articles from from a few legitimate places that are like, oh, they backtracked because of the controversy. They backtracked. It's like, yo, they made this comic like three months yeah, ago. Yeah, like, do y'all know how comics work, homie? Like, you know how hard it is to get a comic out on time. <laughs> like, yeah. you you think since that comic came out. They completely rewrote it, got it to the... No, stop. They had to rewrite it, redraw it, like, send it to the printers, like, make sure everything was, like, on the up and up. <laughs> like, it takes a while for these things to get made. Fools, man. Literal fools. So dumb. The Everyone is so stupid. I just can't even. I just can't even. Did you read it yet? I did. Was it good? Yeah. <laughs> I thought it's good. I thought the first issue was good. I think this issue is good. I like Nick Spencer's writing for the most part, and I like his approach to like his, his Red Skull is kind of amusing in an awful way. And like again, it makes like people are like, oh, you know, yeah, they're gonna make a cosmic cube into a girl. That's real strange. They probably didn't do it for any reason. <laughs> oh, they tease Red Skull in that event a little bit. Nah, whatever. I don't see how this will come into play at a future date. <laughs> Obviously, this is just an event to make Steve young again. And that's it. No other repercussions. <laughs> and, and then I've seen one of the arguments too is everyone's like, a bunch of people called this already. It's a bad thing. Like, but a bunch of people, a bunch more people said like, nah, it wasn't that. This is bad. Mm -hmm. It's like you, you can't have that. You can't have both ways. <laughs> Just let the let the story happen, and then then decide. <laughs> Alas. Alas. Everyone's stupid except you guys. Yeah, you guys you are guys smart. Because you guys watch the Sundown Rundown mm -hmm. here at Southern California Comics, where we run them down to the sun, sun goes down. down. What? Oh snap! Um, I'm Dan. I'm Rob. And we are here to tell you about the latest, greatest, and uh, current here comic books in shop. Comic books. Yes, stuff came out. We're gonna tell you about them. Some exciting stuff. Some less exciting stuff. Notable stuff. We're gonna tell you about the notable yeah. stuff because we're not gonna tell you about uh, um, uh, I don't know, like Hyperion. Nothing wrong. Nothing against Hyperion, but yeah, like the series is all right. But... Hyperion number three. If that's number three. I'm not gonna tell you about it, number three because yeah. it's not a big one. Yeah, because it's already out. You probably already know about. It. You've probably seen it. That ain't a thing. These are things. These are the things here. Yeah, I got things to talk about, like the first issue of what Scooby Doo Apocalypse number one. That's Scooby right. Scooby Apocalypse. Yep. Uh, DC is publishing a bunch of like sort of teenage skewing Hanna Barbera comics. Um, we had Future War. I think it's what it's called. Quest, Future Quest. Future Quest, which looks dope. I haven't read it yet. So it's super dope. Uh, Wacky Raceland, which is like, which is like Mad Max themed. And despite races. looking terrible. This is fairly amusing when I skim through it. Yeah, I mean, I would be lying if I said I read all of it. Cars and punching can't go wrong. Right. This one is a bit stranger because it's like sort of between like, hey, we're dramatically reinventing, and it's the same familiar thing you remember, but Scooby Apocalypse um, takes place in a futuristic society. The Scooby Doo's have been redesigned. The Scooby Doo's. <laughs> Scooby Dog himself has like a bunch of tech stuff on him. Kind of weird, based on a concept by Jim Lee. So Jim Lee was like... So he gets his name on the front? Yep, he gets his name at the top of the list. Even though he did not write it, yep. or did he draw it? Keith Giffen wrote it. Um, Howard Porter drew it. That famous Keith Giffen-Howard Porter team. Yep. They did just... Just League 3000 and 3001. 
Yes. This came out, I think, a couple of weeks ago, actually, and we sold out of them, and then we got more of them. Yep. So, so this is your chance. Yeah. Come check it out. It's weird. Speaking of second chances, look at this. This is Green Arrow Rebirth. Second printing. Yes, this is the Rebirth special, not Green Arrow number one. Right. This it is a distinction. You'll notice because for the Rebirth specials, the title is small up here, and then Rebirth is real big. You can, you can tell it's a second printing because it's red. Mm -hmm. For the regular titles, Green Arrow would be real big down below, and it would just say DC Rebirth on top, applying its part of the embed. Subtle, but different. So far, this is maybe the, the favorite of the bunch for a lot of people. Yeah, like, the surprise hit. Yep, really great art by Otto Schmidt. Really great art. This is yep. a way to start off. Look at by this. Benjamin Percy. Look how nice that is. It's I'm nice very sharp. Book. Portrays action very well. Into it. Solid, solid work. And Black Canary, isn't it? And the way Otto Schmidt draws, like, the Sonic Scream is pretty good. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. I forgot what that one panel is great. Uh, Next one over, I think. Yeah. Yeah. It's violent. No, let him know. Look at it. Look at it. Look at that. Wah! That's great. I imagine that's what it sounds like. Wah! All right. I don't want to talk about DC anymore. I'm going to talk about a little more DC later, but... I like it. I don't want to saturate the market. Uh, G.I. Joe versus Transformers number 13 is out. This is a special, like, extra size issue. It's, like, perfect bound and thick and eight bucks. It's by... Sorry for hitting me so much. <laughs> it's by Tom Scioli and John Barber. Really weird indie comic style. One of my favorite books coming out. This is the final issue. It's nuts. Sort of Kirby-esque. And it's still, like, very faithful to both G.I. Joe and Transformers, even though it's by, like, a weirdo indie comics guy. Super fun stuff. So buy it. Buy every issue you see. Buy the trades when it comes out. Buy the artist's edition giant hardcover when they inevitably make a book of that. Just check it out, because it's good. It looks fun. Yeah, this is surprisingly fun. I gotta make sure I grabbed a copy of this for myself. We got here the Spider Gwen Annual. This is the first one, right? First yep. annual? The first Woo! Spider Gwen Annual. We finally made it, Spider Gwen. Way to go, us. It's a bunch of different creators doing a bunch of little stories, such as first a tale from Gwen's yesteryear, and a Captain America and Spider Gwen team up, blah blah blah, stuff like that. Cool dudes. Jazzy Jason Latour. <laughs> Yeah, lots of guest artists. Emmy Lennox, Chris Visions. I love Emmy Lennox. Emmy Lennox is great. I'm also really into Chris Vision. He did a very dope issue of Scarlet Witch. It's very dope. He also does great. Covers. He did uh, Dead Letters for a boom. Which I've been meaning to read. It's pretty cool. It's uh, Sabella, right? Yep. That dude seems cool. Yeah. Either way, Spider Gwen. You know her, you love her, you read the book. I've read a bunch of issues of Spider, Spider Gwen. Mm -hmm. So far, The Witcher has yet to show up. And that's messed up. Give it some time. All right. We've given a lot of time to Brian Azzarello and Frank Miller and company. To, but Dark Knight Part 3, The Master Race, number 5 is out. I had to check, even though I've been reading this book. It's dope. It's a great book. It's, it's wild stuff. It has a mini comic drawn by Frank Miller starring Superman's daughter. It's like everything you could possibly want in a comic book. Unless you don't like Batman, Superman, or related characters, but... Even then. Even then. It has everything you want. It's got Aquamans. It's, got, it's drawn by Andy Kubert. Inked oh, by, I like Kubert. Yeah, inked, inked by Klaus Janssen, so... So they kind of give it a, a Dark Knight 1 feel. It's fun stuff. I quite enjoy it. I might collect it as a trade once it's done. I can't be bothered to care about it coming out. <laughs> it's worth it so far. Yeah? I really dig it. I trust your opinion on this. You know what? I'm gonna leave that for last. We got two covers for this. That's right. This one. I love this. One. I mean, hold, hold on. on. Hold on. Oh yeah, you don't have this one. Yes. That's the that's the regular cover. The regular Black cover. Um, Black Panther number three. This is the variant, which is done by that guy who's on uh, Power Fist and Iron Man. I know it. I know it. I know it. It's Sanford Green. Ah, Sanford Green. That's not the Kyle Baker cover. I'm pretty sure this is the same. Oh, that is Sam for Green. I like Sandy. Sandy. Sandy's, Sandy's art. And I've been enjoying this Black Panther series. It's great. It's important. Don't miss out. Very enjoyable. Very unexpected. Not at all what I thought I was going to get out of the Black Panther series. 
with better, like Game of Thrones mixed with Black Panther. That's your selling point. Yeah. Boom. It's Marvel's Game of Thrones. Black Panther. Love Catch it. it. Um, dope release of the week is probably going to be Jupiter's Legacy 2, number one. You've been keeping up with that series? Yes. Um, I let Jupiter's Circle pile up. But Jupiter's Legacy is the main event, right. drawn by Frank Quietly, so you cannot go wrong. Even if you hate Mark Miller, which a lot of people do, I think he's fine. You got Frank Quietly art, which makes everything better. It's got ninjas, it's got Ninja Lady, it's got superheroes, it's got everything. Which everything you possibly want, unless you don't like ninjas or superheroes. In which case, it still has everything you want, because you want Frank Quietly, you just don't even know it yet. Who doesn't know they want Frank Quietly, though? I mean, like, that's it. That's the truth. Yeah. Well, I have, last but not least, the, the hot button comic of Marvel. I can't believe we're still talking about this controversy. No. Written by Nikki Spency. <laughs> Steve Rogers, Captain America, number two. What? What's that say? Hail Hydra, the secret history of Steve Rogers revealed. Wow, it's wild. Where is it? There it is. Look at that. Imagine that. Imagine... The shenanigans from the first one being explained in a way that is both sensible and could provide for a pretty good story arc. Wow. Wow. Imagine that, guys. It's a serialized comic. It's been a month of complaining, a month of debating, but now we have our answer. And it's a fine answer. I don't see why yeah. people are still mad. But it is a thing. It is a story. Well, I mean, remember when um, Doc Ock took over Pete's body? Yeah. People like, people like that. Like, yeah. Tizzy, right? There was, a, there was some tizzy about that. And Superior Spider-Man was dope. That series was great. It was le le legit great. I enjoyed it very much. I mean, it's great if you like Spider-Man, not doing Spider-Man things. Or if you like the concept of Spider-Man, but you think Peter is adult. Which I do. <laughs> but either way, and like, who doesn't love, like, you know, obviously I don't want to give anything away because you should read it. Because you should actually read it instead of complaining about it. Not that you guys complain about it because you're the best because you watch Sunday right now. That's right. But you should read it, and you should tell people about it, and then you should be like, yo, this is a serialized story. That's what happens in a serialized story, is they try out new things. I feel like people aren't going to remember the controversy, like, even five years later. It happened with Brubaker, too. But I was thinking, like... Right, because that's what I was thinking, too. Because, like I said earlier, the, the, we were talking about this a little bit. The argument that I'm hearing is like, oh, well, this is a story nobody wants. Nobody ever wanted to see Captain Hydra. Nobody ever wanted to see Bucky as the Winter Soldier. Look at this. Look at, look at the Civil War. Everyone loves that guy now. Everybody loves Winter Soldier. Everyone's but nobody like, wanted that when it first happened. Like, I was thinking about, like, Dark Phoenix Saga, Electric Saga, mm -hmm. or Electro Saga. Well, like, yeah, people yeah. were mad about those, too. Mm -hmm. No one remembers that because they're classics now. Yeah, like... Do I think this is going to be a classic? I don't know. It's two issues in. But I think Nick Spencer has been a competent writer. He hasn't let us down before. Superior Foes of Spider-Man. Great, Great. Book. Astonishing Ant-Man, right? A lot of fun. The other, the real Cap book, featuring your boy Sam Wilson. True Cap. Wonderful. Maybe a little politically charged for some people, but that's what Cap is about. Yeah. I can't think people who see Cap is Cap's not a political dude. Well, punching Hitler is a political dude. Don't, 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 don't. It's okay. It's gonna be. It's gonna be okay. The point is. The point is. They're not gonna ruin Cap. Marvel would not ruin Cap. So like, let's give them a chance, right? Two issues in. Second issue clears up the first issue. Gives us a frame of reference for the events going forward. It's like a key for the series. If you're gonna complain about it. You should probably buy it and see if it's actually good. Mm -hmm. And you know what? If you read it, you get past the the twist of the book, the thrust of it, and you still don't enjoy it, not because you don't enjoy it on principle, because you don't enjoy it, then fine. That's what happens. You know? mm -hmm. Not everything is meant for everybody. That's fine. Did you see my tweet about Peter Parker the other day? No, Speaking of, I have a new name for him. Yeah. Mild Morales. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Got him. I love that. Take that, Tom Holland. That's wonderful. <laughs> oh, man. We have one more thing to talk about. That's right. Something important. Something that we talk about every month. That's you right. Ready for it. Pro VUS is here. That's right. You want to hold one? I want to hold, hold one. I'll hold the heavy one. Oh, man. Oh, I'm not into this. Fireball, uh, man. Uh, ugly art. But previews is out. 
every month we get a catalog of what's coming out in two months. So this is coming out for July, I guess. So this is going to ship in when? That date that's two months from now, it's yep. September. Yeah. Here's everything that's shipping in September. You got Marvel, you got DC, Image, Dark Horse, all sorts of indies, statues, t-shirts, everything you could possibly think of is here contained in previews. And it's got three covers, technically, in the other two books. We got a regular, we got Marvel cover. Yeah, it's a dope cover. We got, on the other side, DC, features spotlighting their Young Animal imprint, Doom Patrol Gerard number one, Gerard Way. which is going to be dope as hell. I love that guy. It's I great. cannot wait. And then a separate Marvel only catalog. Marvel oh. is not in the big previews. Marvel is right. in that one. They're special. Yep. They want you to look at their stuff and only look at their stuff. They don't want to associate with the other companies. Yep. It's mostly Civil War stuff because that's the big thing happening right now. Yep. Yep. Yo, is that U.S. Agent? Yeah, this is the real important part. U.S. Agent is going to be fighting Sam because he wants the shield or something. The solicitation actually says, Captain America is U.S. Agent. No more waiting. Hashtag take back the shield. I'm interested Damn, in that. That sounds promising. Are you kidding me? Dudes with shields hitting each other with shields? That's all I want. Like, we haven't had that yet. Yeah, we have not had that yet. Like, And I know it's a ridiculous, but I just, I just want to hit hitting people with shields. It's great. I'm into it. It looks like Cap's gonna be actually it looks like both Caps will be fighting a bunch of people. So if you if you're into a Captain America fighting people, so look, whoa, Captain America getting blasted by cable? What's up with that? Oh it's dope. When the comics get so dope. Captain America fighting with Captain Marvel? Uninteresting, but on the front of this one, it's Miles and Cap fighting. That's great, right? Well, Spider Man versus Oh wait, is this the dope cover where where Spidey's about to like chop his head off? Yeah. Hell yeah. I saw a great like open letter to that. It was hilarious. Yeah. It was pro. Pro that cover. It's like, that's <laughs> what I needed. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Yeah, so you can buy it. You can buy the previews catalogs if you want. Or you can come to the shop and flip through and tell us yeah. what you want. Because we don't order everything and that's that's the problem. That's right, it's impossible, you know? We don't know how many issues of Sonic Universe to order, but if you tell us, we'll have a better idea. You will, you will have one guaranteed to you if you pre-order it. Perhaps you want this really fancy cover. Ooh, of Magneto. I don't even care that it's a Greg Land cover. Man. That's actually kind of a... I can't, I can't wait for that to end up on the swipe file. <laughs> Let's go in straight to Bleeding Cool. Hmm. Yeah, cool stuff is coming out. Come check it out. Everyone needs to order as many copies of Doom Patrol as possible. Don't be a schlub. Don't miss out. Do not miss out. People, say, do people still say schlub? I still say schlub. It's a great word. It's so evocative. So, I think we're done. I think we're good. <laughs> we'll see you next week. I was trying to get Carrie to believe that <laughs> a colloquial phrase that I made up was a real phrase. What was it? Uh, we were talking about something and I said, how about we split the diff? And then I said, how about we spliff the diff? And she's like, no one says that. And I was like, well, you don't know that because you live in San Clarita where everyone does hair on. But down here, <laughs> down here the kids totally say it like, <laughs> instead, of, instead of like fighting about something, let's just spliff the diff, you know? Like break bread. <laughs> but with spliff. Oh God. That's perfect. She did not buy it. Spliff the diff. Yeah. I thought it was great though. I think it's great. I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use it. Gotta spliff the diff, man. It just, it's so much fun to say. It's Split the diff. Split the diff is the new increase the peace. Always with the catchphrases.